Hey, good evening, Aaron. So the plan would allow the folks living on Lapis to stay there from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., but then they'd have to be gone in the morning. Now, the folks living on Lapis say that doesn't really solve the issue of homelessness. It sort of just moves it around to a different part of the city during the day. And tonight, they shared their own solutions. There are just a few days until these people illegally parked on Lapis Road have to be gone. For months and months, more cars, trucks, RVs, and tents have taken over the stretch of road just outside Marina, which the sheriff's office says brought endless complaints. The garbage, just the standard household waste that people generate as they, uh, as they, as they live somewhere, to the additional waste from couches to tires. Before they're given the boot, the county is looking at a temporary solution to at least let them stay on Lapis overnight until a permanent parking lot is found. But the folks who call Lapis home say that's only half a solution because some of them don't have anywhere else to go. Saying that people need to leave during the daytime um, is basically just going to uh, rid out half of the people. So the people that can move will move, everybody else will lose their home. Amber Bivet gave testimony at a community meeting Monday that she and others have been working with the county to clean up what's now become their home. We got a, a, a dump team going, we're getting a laundry team going, um, we're doing ride shares to the bathrooms until we can get uh, porta potties. Another woman says she's on the run from an abusive boyfriend, but wanted to share her story with us because for her, a home on Lapis means she's finally safe. I've been parked with her and her uncle and her cousin and all of them for five days, best five nights sleep I've had. I have not slept that good in a year. They're asking the county to let them turn Lapis around because their livelihood depends on it. The only reason why nobody's been doing it before is because nobody's been pushed to do it. Give us 60 days and if we don't do it, fine, kick us all out. But we are gonna do it because we're, we're the ones fighting for our lives. Now there are conditions to this temporary overnight parking plan. Uh, one of them is there is to be no illegal dumping or illegal waste and to report those who are illegally dumping there on Lapis Road and then also to keep your vehicle registration up to date. Now as far as the proposed permanent parking plan in Marina, they hope to have that solved by the end of November. Aaron. All right. Thank you, Sierra. Monterey County Board of Supervisors will take up the temporary parking plan tomorrow morning.